Welcome to the Hardcore Pub with Brian the Beer Snob. Hey, thank you for joining me today. I got my new bistro seating in the Hardcore Pub. Actually, it's just outside of the Hardcore Pub. And I'm also wearing this sweet new shirt. Look at that. Thank you, Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks. Coolest beer shirt out there of all the beer reviewers that I've personally seen. So, thank you for that. Now, Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks did send me three new beers. Uh, him, his wife Amber, and Ron did send me three new beers. Not gonna review one of those today because I've had this in my fridge for a while, and it is a Canadian beer. And there's a little story that goes with this one. Plus, it's a big beer. You notice I'm sitting, we got one seats in the shade. I'm over here in the sun. Feels great, but you know what feels great in the hot sun? An ice cold beer. So this is Labatt Blue Canadian Pilsner. And it's a big whopper of a can. This is uh, imported from Canada. And this is 4.7% alcohol. And here's the thing. So I've discovered while talking with beer for breakfast, facts or snacks. Because we were on a live one time and I told him that I bought it in the store and then he asked me what the ABV was in it. So I said, well, it's 4.7% brewed in Canada. This is what you guys drink. He said, no, it's not what they drink. And then he went to his fridge and grabbed his can of Labatt Blue, made in Canada. And it was like 5% alcohol or something like that. It was different. It was more. And I don't understand that. They're both brewed in Canada. Um, this is a 24 fluid ounce, one pint, eight ounce can. It's a big can. You know, everything in Canada is in milliliters. So I don't even know what that would be up there, but this is a big can and it's a lot of beer to drink. Labatt Blue, it's gonna be my first time ever trying it. So see what she's all about. The sun is burning up today. I'm still a little pale. I need to get some color on my legs. So this smells exactly like what you want to drink on a hot summer's day. Cheers. Uh, came outside for bird chirping. Sounds like a war zone though, because sounds like one of my neighbors is getting a new roof. So I assure you that's not machine gun fire, that's just the nail gun. This is light and refreshing. This is not Labatt Blue Light. I'm just saying it's a lighter flavored beer. But here's what's good about that. It tastes like beer. Remember the old beer back in the old days? They still make beer that tastes like beer. Craft beer has kind of changed the landscape of what beer tastes like now. Um, you get beers that taste like anything and everything under the sun. But this Classic beer taste right here. It's good, it's light. By light, I mean, even though this is a big can, if I had several of these, I could sit out here in the hot sun and I could drink them all. I don't normally do that now that I'm old and, you know, when you're young, you're just living life, you're carefree, you're just doing what you wanna do. You're drinking 15 beers of the setting. Then when you get old, you kinda slow down. You learn to sit back and appreciate life. And I can appreciate a good beer, especially the ones I drink now that are sippers. I just sip on them and just appreciate them. Don't need to drink 15 of them. I'll have one, maybe two. Have I slowed down? Yeah. Am I enjoying it? Oh yeah. Thing is, I said, it's so hot. 
Maybe I should have been sitting in that seat. But you know what? Oh, because this is a huge can. I got plenty to drink here. I'm sweating. I know. I don't know if... Well, I know not all of my subscribers are subscribed to Beer for Breakfast Facts or Snacks because we don't have the same number of subscribers. I'm telling you, he puts out great content. Look, he puts out a great shirt. He's always saying, try something different. Look, try something different. This is different for me. I've never had a Labatt's Blue. But I'll never be able to say that again. This is great. My kids have already been asking me if they can go swimming. I said, yeah, let me knock out this review outside in the hot sun. I told them to wait till this afternoon. It's almost 1.30. I think it's time. So I'm going to finish up here. This is delicious, and there's still quite a bit more left in this can, and I see the flies are coming out. They're interested in this beer, too. So thanks for stopping by and checking out the new outdoor seating at the Harcourt Pub. There's only one table and two chairs. You don't need reservations here. Just drop on by. Harcourt Pub's always open. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Till then. Not gonna get to the bottom of that big monster. I'll go enjoy that out back by the pool. Until next time.